It's crazy, like, the only middle school in the Valley to compete and go to Washington. It's surely a wild time for Brandon Jaramillo and the rest of the B Garza Catzilla 2.0 team. They are utilizing the Aquatic Center because they are on their way to the nation's capital to compete in an international underwater robotics competition at nearby University of Maryland. You're getting groups that are coming from all over the world. So to get to know other individuals from other parts of different countries, that's an experience itself. An opportunity that doesn't come often. It feels pretty awesome because like someone like me who was never like, you know, exited out of the valley, it feels pretty awesome knowing that I accomplished something like that. They are all invested in STEM. Bright students with a great mind and excellent communication skills. Their task is not only to operate the ROV device, but go through an intense interview process. In the pool, the robot goes through a mission and obstacle course. Everyone has an important role. I help navigate. Uh, so when we go through the obstacle course, I tell them like uh, to go up, down, or like forward and backward, right, right and left. Like, that's what they go. It's like I have extra eyes, so we have extra eyes on the water. The one who controls the robot has the biggest responsibility. I get very nervous at times. But like, I just hope that I'm better than other people's times. The team got to this point after a third place finish at regionals. An impressive accomplishment considering they were the only middle school at the competition, beating out many talented high schools with more experience. I'm pretty proud. We did good. I did good. We really worked as a team. We had great teamwork. It will be a different setting with plenty of competitors from around the world. In a setting almost 1,800 miles away, with a Westlaco Middle School in the middle of it. For KOS TV, I'm Mike Gonzalez.